take a deep breath hey guys welcome back to my channel i am lauren and today guys i'm going to be helping you reduce your stress when completing forms so i'm going to be trying to eliminate the anxiety that we feel i've felt it i'm sure you have felt it i know people who have felt it anxiety of completing forms whether they're online whether it's a big pack of forms I'm here to help. I'm going to give you a bunch of solutions that may help reduce your stress. And even if it's not all of them, then hopefully at least one or two can help reduce your anxiety and get these forms completed, get you motivated and get it out of the way so you have more free time. That's what we want. I've put these in order of highest importance. So I've prioritized my list because this is my prioritizing series and I've put it in order of importance as to how you complete the form. So what I mean by that is my number one bugbear or form filling is the pressure of the deadline. We know we've got a deadline to complete this form, whether it may be a government form, whether it may be a school form, a medical form, what have you. But the thing is we have have a deadline and that gives us pressure impending pressure and the procrastination and then the overwhelming sense of i really cannot do this i'm here to tell you you can what i want you to first do is just do it in steps i need you to just jot down the deadline put it in your phone put it in your calendar put it in just write it down on a note put it on your whiteboard your chalkboard your blackboard whatever <laughs> i just need you to write down the deadline the initial deadline of this form and what we're going to do we're going to work in steps to work towards this deadline get it sent off before the deadline and then it's out of the way you do not have to complete the form all in one go even if it's a deadline for the following weekend you don't have to do it all in one day i'm going to give you steps that you can complete these but before you complete these you have to do one key thing guys i use this template for my english essays and i, I can do a whole nother video on that guys but what i need you to do is read through all the questions and then we'll decipher what we need to do next this brings me on to my next point having to decipher all the jargon. Now, a lot of these official forms, they come with a lot of jargon that we don't speak in our everyday life. I know some of the stuff that's written in there doesn't even seem like it's in English. <laughs> and I struggle with it. So what I tend to do with anything in life though, this is just me, what I tend to do, if there's something I don't understand, I just whip out my phone and Google it. I read, I try and get as much information as possible and I read more than one source. Now guys, if this is sounding too overwhelming for you again, you don't even have to do that. You don't have to jump on Google because you'll get a whole barrage of information, which again, it just feels like it's being thrown at you. And this is what we're trying to escape. We're trying to avoid that. So what I suggest you do guys, which is very handy to have on your phone, have an online dictionary. So I've got an app with a thesaurus, a dictionary. So you just put in the word, it gives you the basic in layman's terms, let's say, definition of what the jargon is. Now with this form guys, look at any words on the form that may be unfamiliar to you and just jot them down. And then just take your app on your phone and then get the definition. Once you've got the definition, you write the definition down next to the jargon word on your notepad. And then that's it. That's all I want you to do for that day. That's it. Now what I want you to do, the next day, see what documentations they want you to provide. Usually when you fill out these type of official forms, they do want some type of documentation from yourself, whether it's a gas bill, water bill, proof of address, you know, uh, proof of identification, income. So what I then say is once you've got your jargon definitions, the next day I want you to do, go and get your documentations. Write down the list of all the documentation that they need. If you've got them to hand, and usually we do, but we get flustered because we think we have to go and search deep down in the depths of our I don't know where you keep your documents, but I know a lot of people just have piles and piles, okay? For identification, if you've got a driver's license or passport, birth certificate, there you go. That's three identifications for you already. If you need proof of address, you've got a water bill, gas bill, internet bill, proof of salary, proof of income, if you're on benefit, if you're self-employed, just things like that, guys. Just get that aside. Make sure, even if you have to set the whole day aside, just get in your documentation. Know that the night before, that's what you're going to be doing. Brace yourself, prepare yourself. Take a deep breath. We're already on the way to filling this form. We've got the jargon definition and we've got our documentation. Right. Oh, and we've got our deadline when we need to do this by. Okay, so before we complete this form, if there is for any reason you have any reading difficulties or you just cannot fill out these forms by yourself, try and see if somebody can help you, maybe like a close friend. I know right now in these times where we're quarantined and we can't really, we have to social distance, it can be quite tricky. But if you are able to get um, a form sent over, emailed, scanned over to a relative or someone who you trust, or maybe fill it on Zoom with them, then that's another option, guys, if you are by yourself. There are helplines out there, 
and some of them are pretty good depending on you know depending on who you get but there are also youtube videos now it's time to complete the form guys it's as though you're completing an exam let's say you go and do the ones that you can do first then you check over those and then you come back to the harder ones complete something the stuff that would be easy would be your name i'm hoping so <laughs> your address personal details and depending on what type of form it is you know any information that you are privy to at that very moment then i'd say complete and this could be just completing stuff from the documentation that you also have set aside online forms i know they give you the option to save and exit and complete at a later date okay so you do have the option whether it's on paper or online so don't stress yourself and think that you need to complete everything all in one go you do not you need a break but one last thing I would say guys if you're not entirely confident with the information you have provided for your form or you feel like you didn't complete a section properly because you have the fear that if something's not completed then it's gonna have to come back to you then you're gonna have to refill it and I know that's just a nightmare guys but if you filled it out to the best of your ability what I can suggest is maybe providing a cover letter with the form just to say if complete it to the best of your ability if there's any information that's not been provided by yourself give them the contact details they can contact you on your phone number email address so just make sure you have done your due diligence and everything is as it should be if you do have any questions or comments you can leave them down below thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you next week bye